if I couldn't find it. around the sand for about 30 minutes, and uh, also I'm wasting my time. Gee. Unfortunately, it looks like, I'm going to tell you late in the dollar store, it looks like somebody's already been through there, so uh, I'm thinking I might have got beat to the punch. Guys, here's the deal. I've got a clue, and I, I kind of poked around just a few minutes ago, and I didn't find nothing. The only other person that could find it is the person that went to Exile Island before me. Okay. And that's Jeremy. So, Jeremy's got an idol, keep that in mind. Idols are important in this game. Having one of them would be a good thing to have around. And I said, all right, well, we'll go back, you know, maybe I wouldn't do north or seven steps. So I just poked and prodded around a little more. Probably done been found, but uh, obviously not. Matter of fact, it just kind of jumped out at me, kind of scared me. I'm probably not going to tell anybody that I have the idol, because the last thing I need is a target on my back. I'm not a brain surgeon, but if everybody thinks Jeremy has it, that could be good for me. Keith comes back from exile, tells everybody that I have an idol. So I said, Keith, why don't you come to me and say, hey, do you have an idol? We're aligned. I was looking for the idol, and I didn't find the idol, and I, I assumed might have been wrong. I assume Jeremy had beat me to the point. And I'm in your alliance, so why don't you come to me? Because you go to somebody else, and they go to somebody else before you know We could have kept it between me and you. Jeremy, come on now. But we could It doesn't happen like that. Just why not? It just doesn't. If I say, okay, Jeremy, I got an idol, first thing on his head, let's put his name down. Not if we're in an alliance. That's what an alliance is. Dude. But it's more than two people, Jeremy. Well, we could have two people in life and have a sub alliance with everybody else. We could have done that. Sub alliance, okay. We could have done that. That's a new one on me. It's not a new one, it's the Bible. <laughs> Keith, one of the things Jeremy seems to be saying is when you're in alliance with somebody, you don't betray them. You keep that together. I call this betrayal. Well, you started kind of pitting people against Jeremy. That's what where everybody well, went wrong. That wasn't the way it was meant to be. But after we lost a little uh, challenge, seems like these three couples would be gunning to get me. That's just a free vote. They wouldn't lose none of their loved ones. Keith would be gone, everything would be good. That was crazy, wasn't it? So does anybody feel they're back up to what they weighed when we started the game? They feel pretty good about yes. that, yeah. yeah. But uh, the three couples, one don't like the other, one, you know, that could be real good for me. I mean, we'll see tonight at Tribal. You could have let me know. When I saw my name come up twice in Tribal, I said, what in the world? Are you kidding me? My name wasn't in the plan. Did I miss the memo? Or what if Dale would have voted for me? It would have been 3-3. Three, three. We would have done a re-vote. We all would have voted for Dale. We, Dale, Dale, Dale was, was, Dale always, was done. Always, we wanted to go Dale home. Dale was gone. It was well, just lying. that. I mean, we don't have to lie every, no, other, breath, that, every, every other breath. We don't have to lie. I'm, I'm telling you, we, you, are, you are a big part. I think we can make this happen. But when you do when stuff like that happens, it makes you feel like I ain't too sure. It was Missy and Baylor that voted for me. And they give me some lame excuse. Well, I need somebody to stay loyal. Shoot, I'm done with y'all. I'll leave you hanging high and dry. I'm excited to play with Wes. It's been 16 days, and uh, yeah, it was good to see him. She was born on like, I had to wear single So uh, I could care less about Missy and Baylor. Happy birthday. Thanks, God. First person to tell me that. I've been talking to him all morning. <laughs> Bless his birthday today. Matter of fact, I woke up this morning, forgot all about it, and uh, Josh wished him happy birthday before I did. All right, here you go. Happy birthday. Aww. Roast your crab. You got one, for real. Don't ever take your dad to provide for you. Enjoy your crab and Nicaragua. Yeah, I did forget for a minute, but uh, no big deal. I, I finally remember wishing him happy birthday and everything. Everything's good. Happy birthday right here on the beach. Wes is out. King wins first individual immunity. Take him. And yeah. Child, crazy, crazy. Dude, that was crazy. Nice. You blew it. I can't oh. even beat your old man. Oh, yeah. Keith, come on over.
first individual immunity win. Safe tonight at Tribal Council. Cannot be voted out of this game. Uh, all right. As long as you keep burping, I guess you're okay. Wes is a good kid. He ain't been in jail yet, uh, you know. But he does make some mistakes. I can just give him my words of wisdom about all I can do. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wandering off. Oh. That's my boy overloading nowhere. Whoop. Couples? Not when you jump no. in with your son like that. My son is my couple. I have the idol. The thing about that is playing it at the right time. You can maybe get one of them out. I think you're trying to pin it on me when it's really about you. I think everything changes after the month. I don't know about all that. Maybe I can tell them to vote me off. They all put my name down. I play the idol. Done. I'm had it with John. I'm had it with Missy. That might not be a bad idea. It's getting to crunch time now. Somebody broke into my bag. I mean, I've got the idol, but now everybody knows I have the idol. The clue and everything was wrapped up with the idol. The idol was in my blue jean pants. The clues and everything was in that blue bag. And it's now gone. There's a thief up here somewhere. I mean, that's my stuff. I don't like, I don't go through your stuff. I don't expect people to go through my stuff. But people got, different people got different values, I guess. We're a, we're a creep. So his word might be out that he's got the idol, and it might come in play sooner than later. Here's the deal. God of the Reliance is convinced that you and Wes have an idol between the two of you. What they want to do with the next vote is split the vote between you and Wes. So they will think they have four votes going to one of you and three votes going to another. They're, they're including you yes. and Alec? Yes, but Alec and I are going to vote with you and Wes. That's, that's my plan. What are your thoughts? Yeah. Uh, are you cool with that? I'm cool with that. That's a good plan. We can play all four and get John out there, ringleader, which I don't care much for to begin with. And I still won't have to play the idol. Hopefully. As long as we just trust each other for this one vote, we can make a huge change in the game. Nah, there's your team sitting right over there. So Keith, you're saying Natalie's the only one of her group still up there? Yeah. It shows me that Natalie's fighting for her team, and the other three of us are fighting for our lives. So then what is it about your son that made him drop? Yeah, Wes, I don't know, maybe a food weakness. I'll have a little father-son with him after we get through with this. I ate 58 chicken nuggets in five minutes when we eating contest once. So it makes you wonder then, do Wes and Keith have an idol? Are they sharing it? Or is what really is happening? Keith, it doesn't get any more direct than that. It doesn't, you're exactly right. See how easy that was? Uh, and then, it, then all of a sudden, it's bam. Idols are everywhere, idols are everywhere. I say stick to the plan. You know, at this, at this point, that's all I can say. Wow, John, stick to the plan. <laughs> this is a hidden immunity idol. Any votes cast for John will not count. Okay, good, yeah. Two is a hidden immunity idol. Any votes cast for Keith will not count. John does not count. John does not count. John does not count. Keith does not count. Keith does not count. John does not count. Keith, nobody, any votes. 
ninth person voted out the third member of our jury. Wes, you need to bring your torch. Keith, does he have the touch? He does! Keith wins individual immunity! Yeah. <laughs> Golly. 29 days in, given the way things have been going, I'm guessing this feels pretty good right now. This comes in hand. Uh, yeah, given the way things have been going. Man, where do we stand? Well, you know, right now, it's like at the bottom. It's either you or Alex Tiger. Oh, yeah. I feel like you deserve to be here more than Alex. <laughs> but I think you're really scary on immunity challenges. That's why the decision is probably... Oh, me? Yeah, because, come on, this Alex is useless. Yeah, he... You don't uh, have to worry about him being uh -uh. I was real close again to getting a necklace today. And I could kick myself right now. I needed it. I needed it. Everybody knows I need it. It is a bad feeling. Burned it yesterday and it's burning again today. It's laid up over there. Y'all are taking him to the end. Y'all could send a message just like that. I mean, take Alex out or take me out, but you're going to have to eventually take each other out. We're tied. Three votes Alec, three votes Keith, one vote left. Eleventh person voted out, the fifth member of our jury. Alec, can you bring me a torch? How the votes work, how did you work with you last night, and I voted for Alec and then switched the whole thing up. And you about had it with Alec? Alec was just obsessed with John for no reason, you know? I got it. Man, it seems like I just keep squeaking by, squeaking by, squeaking by. They don't know that it was me that I did that. So, me, you, Missy, and Bela, we got to be tight. Maybe I have somebody now. Can you believe that 30 days into this baby? And, you know, I've got that. Good grief. What could happen after that? Who knows? I feel like you deserve to be in the game more than Alec longer anyway. I'm glad you do. Don't be those to any mind. It's from Miss Prom Queen, your homecoming queen. Don't worry about that. I don't know what it is. I see some goobers on the end. <laughs> some what? Uh, goobers. Oh, nuts. Oh, yeah. Wow. Slow down now, baby. Don't fill up on that rabbit food. Don't get like wet. <laughs> he's going to die when he sees that you're at the spa. Yeah, it's a girl thing, but as long as this food's here, it's a guy thing. Yep. I've never had a spa day or spa food. Turned out not too bad. Hey, that looks like a piece of bacon. Spotted's not so bad. No. I ate about as much as I could, and then I went on to the shower. Knocked the funk off of me that it's 30 something days I hadn't bathed. I come out here looking like George Clooney. <laughs> then it was off to the massage. Oh. Boy, every now and then she hits the right spot. Oh, like right there. Oh, please. Oh, my goodness. That's my bony rib cage. Uh oh. <laughs> Keith at a spa was pretty dang funny. I can't breathe. And I hadn't seen that side of Keith before. I don't get to get around to many of these in Louisiana. I had a realization of like, Keith's kind of cool. Do you feel the knots in your shoulders? I think so. Half of them might be my phone. I've never had a massage before. I mean, don't tell nobody about all that, you know. I don't want the guys at the fire station knowing I'm going to uh, masseuse and you know, all this other extracurricular stuff. You might have to roll me off this baby. But, man, I've been rejuvenated, and I've got four, five, six days left. I can take this on out. No problem now. Good grief. Just vote, John. I'll tell you, if you plan to split votes, John pays his idol, we'll vote out Jacqueline. If she doesn't pay his idol, we we'll vote and vote John, and John goes home. Getting on John at this point would be dream come true. It's travel night, and if all goes to plan, Mr. All-American or Miss USA is going home, and I'll be sitting here with five. But that's the plan. We're pretending like we're all one for you, so a tribal. Don't act crazy, but just act like, you know, depressed that you're going home. I think I can trust this bunch. You know, if I can't, I'm a goner. Twelfth person voted out the sixth member of our jury, John. Keith wins the award! An advantage in the next community challenge. The little note said, read it private, so I was not all credit. You have earned an advantage in the next community challenge. A challenge table has been delivered to a private spot at your camp. You can practice for as long as you want, but once you stop, you are finished. Good 
1863. It had a few more clues, you know, telling me how the challenge worked. Jeff wasn't there or nothing to fill me in. Oh, it goes like that? I mean, it took me a little while to figure it out. Started like that? Challenge table, sort of like food. I got four handles, and you just pass a ball to a paddle over an obstacle to another paddle. Uh, complete that three times. Bam! Necklace around your neck. Whoa! I'm gonna stay here and practice because I need that necklace tomorrow. There does come a point in the fire service where it stay and die or you jump out the window. It's called flashover. This room's fixing the flashover, and you better do something quick like. Yeah. It's to the point now, I'm on the hot seat, but I think maybe I'm not flashed over yet. I'm probably going to practice till dark. I'm ready to go tackle this baby and get that necklace. Concentration ain't as good as it was when you first started. Wow, that's so hard. I ought to have this by now, but uh, good grief, man, I'm going mentally. Uh, hot. Whoa. All I can do right now, uh, win challenges and uh, go for that necklace. I'm losing focus. Immunity, guaranteed a spot in the final four. Yes, you never got it going down? Really? Y'all got nobody got a ball? No. Really? Just a little bit of practice. And you're wow. good with balls. I'm good with balls. Coming back to camp wasn't too bad. Um, I don't know. Uh, man. All right. Yeah, I ought to have this by now, right? Mine goes on the 37th or 8th day or whatever. Uh, okay. All right, here we go. Coming back to camp after the immunity challenge. Uh, wasn't too bad. Uh, you know, tonight probably won't be too hard. I mean, Jacqueline knows she's going right up there with the jury. 13th person voted out the seventh member of our jury, Bailiff. Do you believe my case right now, or you're who I need to be talking to, Jack? The power she Whoever wears the necklace got the power. Yeah. On well, day 38, you try to make a pitch to get to the million. And day 39, you're pitching why you deserve the million. I'm far from a million right now. I've got to get in the final three. I'm thinking you got a better chance of being that. Still, Missy and that. Missy's gonna get a lot of votes. She's gonna get the sympathy vote for her ankle. Some. She's got Baylor already. I mean, I give Jacqueline my pitch. If Jacqueline gets rid of Missy, she's got a better chance again with me in the three than Missy. Hopefully, she'll visualize that and see. That's all I can say. It's in, it's in y'all's hands. Fourteen person voted out, the eighth and final member of our jury. All right. Keith, you need to bring your torch. <laughs> Travis Bowman. Time for you to go. See y'all. Thank you. Let out, like, all that out. All that nastiness. Joe down there doing yoga. And I don't do yoga. I get up in the morning, I have a cup of coffee, and I go to work. Like 99% of Americans do. Nobody wants to see me bend over and get contorted out there and all that. I think Joe's a free spirit, pretty boy with the hair. Yeah, great. Great around camp. Feel stuff, chop stuff. But, uh, yoga. 
that, that, that's Joe. To the top of your breath. We are tied up now. Four across the board. Yes, Keith, yes, Keith, yes. One more, baby. Keith with the fifth for Takeo. It is now Takeo in the lead with five. First two to finish, win reward. Keith has it for Takeo. Takeo wins comfort and refreshments back in camp. What are them things called? Rick Shaw? Uh, no. Uh, Toto. Toto. Yeah. So let me go out here and just look. Okay. Let me see what this little... I used to have a Trail 70. Go drink and drive. <laughs> let me see if I can get it cranked. I think I'm in gear. Don't break it. Hey! <laughs> 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 see you. We'll see you later. We're gonna see Keith in like 10 years, retired on the beach. And this is what he's gonna be doing. <laughs> it's a passenger. We don't have no beach in Louisiana that you can roll up onto. So this is a once in a lifetime deal. Here I am driving a tuk-tuk on the beach in Cambodia with my buddy, hauling him around like a taxi driver. It's a I ought to get my driver's license, Cambodia driver's license. That would be something slick. You call, we'll haul. Just call me up, I'll come get you. <laughs> They're talking about food and coal and all that, but uh, I'm here to win a million dollars cut and dry. Shoot, I ain't starving to death. I'll make it, baby. This is day 25, let's see. 35, yeah, I'm two weeks out. I'll sit here for 50 days for a million dollars. I mean, dang, when do you get a second chance for something crazy like this? <laughs> God, dang, that looks bad. I feel like any minute I could lose a tote. People ask me if Survivor's fun, I tell them, hell no. Survivor ain't fun, going on a cruise is fun, you know, going fishing is fun, going to play golf fun. This ain't fun, I mean, look at me, golly. All right, Keith, who do you want to Big see? D. Big D. Big D. Keith, what? Dana, come on out, Big D. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, what's up? What's up, baby? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Big D. Everybody? Yes, sir. Oh, man. He's out of bounds. Does he have enough rope to get to them? No. He does not have enough rope. Keith could win it for the second time if he does. <sighs> Keith repeats, wins individual reward, and a trip back to CM Reeves. <clears throat> Man, people would have asked me, you know, hey, where's Keith been for the last 30 days? Is he sitting in a temple in Cambodia, or is he just get off the shuttle back from Mars? Well, they said, well, he just got back from Mars because he damn sure ain't in Cambodia. And that's how amazing this is. It was pretty impressive. And you just don't run across stuff like that. Now, I don't know how you can trump this, tell you the truth. I would like to stay. I, I know. Here. I, know. I, I don't like that at all. I, I don't like After it either. Days. But of course, Keith, you know, I want to stay. I know you do. I know you want to stay, but I would family. like, you know, I haven't been here in a long time. I, I would like what, to stay. I, okay, I'll tell you what. She's a mama. She's a, no. You're gonna give up your spot? Yes, yeah, she's single mama, two young babies, send me the house. Oh, Are you serious? I'm good, I'm good. No. Do you wanna stay? It's just like, like say we go home tomorrow. I mean, yes, you're but right. we you're don't right. know. I think you need to stay. Yeah, sure, I'll stay. All right, then I will keep you stay. So, you are saying, Kimmy? So you vote Kimmy? Yes. Spencer, who do you say? Kimmy. Kimmy. Keith. Kimmy. Kimmy, after 36 days, you become the 14th person voted out and the eighth member of our jury. I've never seen a tribal like that, but much less be part of one. After it was all said and done, and all the ties, and, and boats, and unanimous stuff, and idols played, Kimmy goes to the house, but I was on the chopping block. Go figure that out. So, it was crazy. That was wild. That was mind so wild. blowing. I, I lost track. It's crunch time. It's desperate measures right now. Kelly, the idol maker up there, 
we'll just see what she did. Hey, pretty impressive. I like that kill. I ought to go in there, bebop in there, back to camp sporting it, you know? Let them kind of see it. Make them think I have one. Just to put doubt in their mind, and that's all it takes. Just one of them to flip, you know, scare them into doing something stupid. Spencer's gone, we have a better shot. Oh, I know. Well, see how it goes at travel, but I'm telling you, just keep the idle in case. Yeah, if it looks like it's going south, I'll say something. Okay. But, uh, but I'll have it in my bag. Would Jeremy lie to me? Heck, maybe at travel. I'll just pull it out and say, hey, uh, there's the out. Keith ain't going nowhere tonight. Y'all better make some different plans. I got options. That, that, when you got options, is a good thing. I mean, God dang, the last nail ain't in the coffin. <laughs> Keith, we're tied. Two boats, Spencer. Two boats, Keith. One boat left. Fifteenth person voted out, the ninth member of our jury. Keith, need to bring me a torch? Keith, the tribe spoke. In there. See you, Keith Nail. Golly. Balls I can't, out. I can't. Yeah, balls. Balls <laughs> happiness. <laughs>